RBI is the central bank of the country, the apex bank that has a major role to play as the regulator of our financial system at large. It helps in enhancing the resilience of our overall financial system. But there are other regulatory bodies as well which support RBI in this very objective and they have a major role to play in enhancing the resilience of our financial systems. One such regulatory body is SEBI. SEBI, which stands for the Securities and Exchange Board of India, is the watchdog for our capital markets, for the securities market at large. So today we will be discussing what are the major functions that SEBI being the regulatory body performs. So if I talk about SEBI and the role which it plays in our economy, it really helps in protecting the interests of investors, in enhancing the working of the securities market, in developing the capital markets in India. So we can categorize the functions of SEBI into three categories. This makes it easier for us to understand the role that SEBI plays. So the first category is that of a regulatory body. It performs certain regulatory functions. So what all things are uh, covered under the regulatory functions of SEBI? SEBI registers the brokers, regulates them. Then there are various underwriters, merchant bankers. So it regulates them as well. Then there is a need to come up with rules, regulations for our stock markets, governing the overall equity issues, bond issues, mutual fund industry. So all that is role of SEBI. It also inspects the uh, stock exchanges, carries out the time to time audits, levies the necessary fee, the charges for different activities associated with your securities market. So as far as the regulatory functions are concerned, it includes registration, regulation of brokers, underwriters, and uh, uh, overseeing the working of your stock exchanges, inspecting them, auditing them, levying the necessary fee, and all such things. Okay, so they fall under the ambit of the regulatory function of SEBI. Coming to the second category of the functions performed by SEBI, they are the development functions. SEBI contributes a lot towards the development of our financial systems, basically the development of the capital markets at large. So it carries out the necessary training of the brokers, the dealers who are involved in this capital market business. Okay, then it also conducts the necessary research work, publish the results that can be helpful for the market participants. It encourages the usage of the technology coming up with electronic modes of your entire dealing in this securities market. So this is how uh, to some or the other extent SEBI contributes to the development of your capital markets. Coming to the last and one of the most important functions of SEBI, the protective functions, protecting the investors like you and me who like to invest in the securities market, subscribe to the shares of different company, invest in the mutual funds, the bonds, debentures or the other instruments that exist. So whenever we are subscribing to say shares, we are having a look at the prospectus of some company and based on that we are making a issue of the equity. If any of the statements in that very prospectus is misleading, then our investment is at risk. So SEBI makes sure that there is no misleading statement provided by these companies. If the companies are involved in wrongdoings, then there is a need to penalize them for the same. So SEBI prohibits all kinds of wrongdoings, fraudulent practices like manipulating the statements, price rigging, invo being involved in insider trading. Insider trading has been an issue uh, going on these days where different uh, directors, individuals associated with the firm make use of the unpublished information and try to take the benefit out of it. So if you are involved as an investor, as a person belonging to a company involved in insider trading or if any company is involved in such activity, then obviously they will be penalized. Who has the power to penalize them? Obviously, it's SEBI. It provides the necessary code of conduct that needs to be adhered to, the rules and regulations which these firms have to follow, the corporates have to follow to protect the rights of the investors. 
handling the grievances of the customers, the investors, making sure that they don't have to face any kind of a wrongdoing is the responsibility of SEBI. So this is how SEBI acts as a watchdog for the overall securities market, thereby playing its major role in the resilience of our financial systems. Thank you so much.